That thing looks so good. If I was a fish, I would 100% eat that thing. Oh my God, totally crushed it. Oh, we're on. I'm hooked up on the big swim bait. We're on, we're on. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Holy crap. What the heck is that? Oh no. What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're out here and today we're fishing literally my favorite place ever. We are on the Chattahoochee River and we are in search of a big river fish. If you guys don't know, the river is a great place to fish and uh, honestly in my opinion, it's the most fun place to fish because these fish in here fight extremely hard and it is loaded full of all kinds of species. And today we're in hopes of catching a big one either on a big bait or a top water bait. That's kind of what I'm gonna prioritize today. And then, uh, you know, we're gonna see what happens. But I'm feeling good. Absolutely love this place. It's gorgeous and uh, we have a nice spring day. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm about to head to the first spot of the day and I'll see you guys there. All right, we've made it out to the first spot of the day. I'm super excited to get out here and do some fishing. The river is just, it's an, its honestly an addiction for me. I just love this place. It's really beautiful, especially in the springtime, everything, the colors are just popping, the trees are blooming, the fish are biting, and uh, the sun is currently coming up over the uh, horizon at the moment. So we're about to have some prime top water weather. I'm thinking about throwing around the frog, the buzz bait, two of my favorites. And also I wanna kinda give you guys a rundown of what we have tied up because we actually have a few different baits that should get bites. And uh, the good thing about the springtime is you can catch them on a lot of different techniques. Big swim bait tied up, smaller bluegill swim bait that I just bought for like 50 bucks. So I'm hyped for that. We have a crankbait for some, some cranking, a reaction bite, and then we have a Texas rig and a wacky worm. We're keeping it simple. I mean, we have everything that we should need and uh, I'm itching to make a cast. So we're about to go ahead, start casting around the top water baits and hope for a big bite. All right, well, here we are. First spot of the day. I feel really good about this. It's basically a bank line filled with a bunch of structure. For example, like this big old tree we have over here. And uh, it's a perfect little area to throw around a topwater frog. Right here, we have a nice little popping frog in a bluegill color. And this right here has been catching me a lot of fish. So I'm actually excited to toss this thing around. I've been really addicted to frogging recently. So hopefully we get a frog bite. It's one of my favorites. And then whenever one hits it on the river, most likely if you get a top water bite on the river, it's going to be a pretty big fish or at least a really aggressive one. But like I said, today's goal is just to catch some fish. Obviously big fish would love that, but we're just trying to catch fish on a lot of different techniques, but I'm going to prioritize top water and swim baits. That thing looks so good. If I was a fish, I would 100% eat that thing. 100% eat it. Actually got some really good structure coming up. So I think this frog is definitely about to get a little bite. Hopefully a big bite, actually. I, I really want a big bite today. I just can't miss my opportunity with this thing. Oh, it's gorgeous, though. I just love frog fishing on the river. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, got some bait getting chased up here. This could be good. This could be really good. Really good structure. Oh, so last time I was actually on the river and I saw like shad like that flickering. I put down the frog and picked up the buzz bait and I had a lot more success. So I think that's exactly what I'm about to do here. I'm gonna toss around the buzz bait. As long as it's top water, I don't really care what it is, you know? Buzz bait and frog are definitely my go-tos. Dude, look at the shad flickering everywhere. Early morning buzz bait action, okay. Oh, we're on, we were hooked up. He just popped off, no. No, dude, that was a nice one. Dude, I've been having so much trouble with these buzz baits. I have a stinger hook on this thing and I still cannot hook these fish. I don't know what's up with it. 
I don't know if they're just not eating it good or what, but oh man, I needed that fish. You know, you can't hook them all. Oh, dude, he's, he's okay. Obviously, I can't hook them all. I can't even hook one. Gotta walk in. Oh my god. Oh, he crushed it. Oh my god. Hammered it, dude. Oh my gosh. That was a crazy top water bite. Get up here. Let's go, baby. Starting the morning off right with a just a massive top water bite. Let's go on the buzz bait, baby. Woo, a little spotted bass. Heck yeah. Well, right there, first fish of the day. A beautiful little spotted bass. Absolutely rocked the buzz bait. I mean, that thing exploded on it. Small little spotted bass, these things are just so aggressive on the river and they fight so hard because they're used to fighting the current. But beautiful little fish to start the day off. Let's get them back and uh, get the buzz bait back in there. Well, I finally hooked one. That's a good sign. <laughs> Man, they are crushing the buzz bait. I'm glad I picked it up. They're definitely chasing Shad. I mean, that fish, I think he, he could have possibly been the one that nipped it the first time and then came back for it. But dude, if it's like this on this bank line with this buzz bait, it could be, it could be crazy. That was one of the hardest buzz bait bites I've ever had. Obviously they're chasing shad. I mean, a lot of shad cruising around, jumping out. If there's two top water baits that I just love and cannot live without, it is the buzz bait and the top water frog. The buzz bait, gets very consistent bites and has been around for a really long time and it's just like still so good makes a lot of noise has a nice wake a bubble trail it's a perfect little fling shad bait and then you have the frog which is kind of like a dying bluegill and it just gets cool bites they blow up on it really aggressively and you just can't beat both of them so either one is just way up there on my list so getting to throw top water early in the morning on the river is just like Nothing beats it. All right, we are at a little rock wall here and it just has a bunch of submerged rock and it's really good for like a reaction bite. So we're about to pick up the crankbait here and uh, rip around a few casts, see if we can't maybe get hooked up on our uh, second fish. There's a the fish. There we go. We're hooked up. We are hooked up. Nice little spotted bass. I think it's a spot. Most likely. Get up here. Tiny little large mouth. So sick though. Oh man, add him to the board. Fish number two. Let's get him back. Alrighty, little buddy. See you later. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that was so sick. I came off the rock and a bass went after it. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. I'm going to pick up this little guy for a second. It's a nice little bluegill and it's super tiny. I feel like they would definitely eat this up. Looks super realistic too. So maybe we can get a little bite on this. I think that'd be pretty cool. Well, I felt like now would be a perfect time to uh, give you guys an update because it is pretty slow. We started off the morning pretty hot. I mean, we had top water bites. We had a few reaction bites. We had a follow on the swim bait. And uh, honestly, I was feeling good. And then everything just kind of went downhill after that. We have not had much action since. I uh, came up river and uh, wanted to kind of explore a little bit more, try and find something new. And uh, it looked really good. The fish just aren't there. So we're coming up on some rocks. I'm gonna crank those and then we'll see what happens. I think I just gotta put my head down and fish. You know, fishing is a, uh, is a timing thing. It could just be, you know, that time of the day where they're not wanting to eat, but like 10, 15, 30 minutes from now, they might be going crazy. So 
who knows? We're going to keep casting and hoping for the best. That's a fish. That's a fish. That is a fish. We are hooked up. It's been a minute, but we're hooked up. Dude, he's running right at me. Gosh. There we go. Get up here. Yes, add him to the board, baby. We got another one. Well, that right there is a good sign. Not a big fish at all little spotted bass but it is a good sign because they obviously are sitting on the rock walls and uh, that's exactly where we caught them on the crank little reaction bite appreciate you little buddy let's get you back see ya i mean hey when it's slow you'll take what you can get you know not the size i'm looking for but it is a fish and i want a fish Ooh, another one back to back we're hooked up we're hooked up. They are on the rocks. They are on the rocks today. Get up here. Okay, we're literally going down in size, but hey, it's another fish. Like I said, when you're struggling, you'll take what you can get. We will take it. Get up here, little guy. Just a nice little tiny, I think this is a spotted bass. Just a very little guy. Check him out. Oh, I just can't escape the little fish. Can't escape them, but man, are they beautiful. Let's get you back, little guy. Back to back on the rock wall. Well, that tells us something. They want the reaction bite. There's one. Crushed it. Absolutely crushed it. There we go. We have found them. We have found them. Get up here. Little spotted bass, man. They are mean. They love the rocks. I just wish we could find a bigger one. I know there's probably some down there, but these guys are just so quick and so mean. They probably just get there first, but heck yeah, another one. Obviously, we have found where they are and what they're eating, which is good because it was very slow for a while. Let's see if any of these fish want that bluegill swim bait. I feel like that'd be good over here on the rocks. Oh, we're on. I'm hooked up on the big swim bait. Well, actually, it's the tiny swim bait, but still. Oh, he just pulled off. No. No, dude. He hit that thing so hard. Dang it. I wanted one on the swim bait really bad. It's okay. They at least will eat it. It's good to know. Oh, we're hooked up. God, that one feels decent. He smacked it. Smacked the crankbait. Stay down, stay down. Nope, don't jump. Always oh, barely hooked. Come on, buddy. Come on. Get up here. Get up here. On the crank. He's barely hooked. Let's just swing him up. Yes, that's actually a that's a better that's a better spot for sure. Alright, well right here we got another spotted bass. These things are so much fun. They put up a crazy fight, even though they're tiny. I think a, a trophy spotted bass is somewhere around like four pounds, four or five, maybe a six. That's considered a good spotted bass, which I mean, even though they're small, they fight super hard and they're a lot of fun. But we're looking for a bigger one, so we're gonna get them back and uh, keep cranking. They are on the rocks today. This is a really fun bite. Throwing this crankbait with this glass rod, feeling that thing smack the rocks, and then boom, fish just hammers, hammers the crank as it comes off of one such a fun bite we're gonna crank this wall we're also gonna throw the bluegill on this wall Let's see what we can do oh we're on oh i just got smacked oh dude i got thumped so hard We're on, we're on. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Holy crap. That's a good one. What the heck is that? Oh no, it's a catfish. Jeez. Oh gosh, I don't want to lose the swim bait. I might just have to net this thing. No, 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 no. Give me my swim bait back. That's an expensive swim bait. And you're not having it. No, that is my swim bait. Come here. Oh, okay, I got him. Dang it. I thought it was a big bass, man. 
So a catfish. Well, at least we caught something on the swim bait, right? There he goes. See ya. There's one. We're hooked up. We're hooked up. I don't know if he's big or small. Feels decent. Oh, he's small. Very small. Gosh, man. I can't escape him. I can't escape them. Get up here. Looks like a little largey. Well, there we go. A little large mouth off of the wall. Came back to the first spot that we uh, hit this morning, and this rock wall always has fish on it. But he might be small, but he crushed it. Well, they're still eating the reaction baits. Definitely slowed down though. Oh, we're hooked up. We're hooked up. Finally. I just fished that whole side of the bank and couldn't catch a single thing. And I was like, how is there nothing there? Well, we got one. We got one. Oh, he's a monster too. Absolute stud. Get up here, little buddy. Not the size we're looking for, but hey, <sighs> it's hot outside. I've been biteless for like 45 minutes, so we'll take him. Thank you, buddy. I was sitting here thinking if we could get off this little rock cliff right here and maybe get to this, it might be good. And then that fish bit, so maybe that was a true statement. We're about to find out. Let's see if there's any more hanging around. There's one. God, I watched him on live scope. Smoked him. Smoked him, baby. Get up here. Yes. There we go. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. There was like three or four of them with him. He was in a school. There we go. You know, it's funny. When I was watching him on live scope and he came up for it, after he ate it, his buddies came up for it. They were just kind of following behind him. Then once uh, once he ate it, they took off after it too. Thank you, buddy. See you. I'll try and get some of your little friends down there. There's one. Oh, he's good. Holy crap, he's monstrous. Was that even a word? Dude, he's taken off. Oh my god. What is it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Whatever. Oh, it just pulled off. No. No. Dude, it was huge. Holy crap. What the heck was that? It might have been a stripe or a hybrid the way it was taken off. Dude, that was so weird. It felt like a snag. Oh, right there at the boat. Oh my god, he's running. Oh, it's a little, whoa. It's a little white bass, I think. Or it's a hybrid. I'm not sure. sure. I think it's a white. Get up here. There we go. New species of the day. Little white bass. Super cool. Thank you, little buddy. Not the one that we had, though. The, the other fish was massive. There's one. We're hooked up. We're hooked up. Gosh, dude, he's micro. All these fish around us, and they got a, they're this size? Come on, now. Thank you, little spot. Not what we want. I want a monster. I think I had one hooked and it got off. There's one. We're hooked up. We are hooked up. Hooked up. Get up here, little guy. See you, bud. Alrighty, the trolling motor is pretty much dead. So that might be all that she wrote. But hey, what a day, man. That was crazy. That was really crazy. A little last minute Hail Mary and boom. Look at that. We caught how many fish at this spot? I mean, it was pretty uh it was pretty pretty crazy. I mean it happened so fast. It is hot outside today. Wow, it's not even summertime yet and it is brutal. But 
we had a pretty solid day. We got out there and we smoked them. I have no idea how many we caught, so you guys are gonna have to let me know down below in the comment section, but our main baits today that caught us fish was definitely the Guggen Baits flat banger, one of my favorite crankbaits of all time. Every time I come to the river, that crankbait is tied up. It's caught me big striper, big hybrids, big largemouth, decent size spotted bass, but they love that thing. You just crank it on the rocks, get that reaction bite, and then uh, we even had a top water bite this morning. I thought the top water bite was gonna be a little bit better. It started off pretty nice, and then it just kind of straight downhill. We even had a bite on the swim bait. I think I missed two, two of them caught a catfish on the swim bait so i mean we had a pretty solid day of a little bit of everything we didn't catch a single fish on a texas rig honestly i didn't really throw it that much but i did toss it around nothing so they were definitely feeding up today on that reaction bite but it was a lot of fun to get out here and do some fishing i want to know what you guys want to see on the channel for the upcoming summer even though it already feels like summer here i want to know if you guys want to see more challenges more ponds more river i absolutely love the river i want to know if you guys want to see more edited unique river stuff or do you guys just like it straight up river fishing and uh, longer videos so it was a fun time getting out here and uh, we smoked them so you can't beat that love a good day on the river but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and a comment if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one Stay fishing.